everybody. My name is Megan Cunningham. Um, I am a second grade teacher at Jardine Elementary School, which is located in Topeka, Kansas. Our school has only been open two years now, and I do not have any responsibilities aside from being a classroom teacher at the moment. And I feel that is due to it only being my third year teaching, so I don't feel quite comfortable enough to take a role or extra responsibility um, education-wise when there's so many other people that have had more experience than I do. Uh, the person that has had the most influence in my life would have to be my mom. She is the reason why I got into education. She um, became a teacher when I was young, and I had basically grown up in the background of her classroom. Uh, if I was there early, I was in her room working, and I had to stay late, I was there in her room working. Um, even if I was sick and she couldn't take me home, she would have me behind her desk, and I would be able to see everything behind the scenes. And she's honestly the reason I am how I am personality-wise today, uh, everything I can kind of equate to her and how she's raised me. Um, the results of my personality test, they kind of surprised me in some ways, and then in others they didn't. Um, in extroversion, it says I'm 41%, which is slightly surprising because I'm a very, I feel I'm a very introverted person, and the fact that it says my percentile is 41%, I thought that was pretty high. Um, emotional stability is 81%. That part didn't surprise me. I'm a very go-with-the-flow kind of a person, so not really much surprises me or shocks me. Um, I keep a pretty level head all the time. Agreeableness is one that really, really did surprise me. I usually think that I'm pretty agreeable. Um, but it says I'm only 25%, which I thought was interesting. Um, conscientiousness is very low at 7%. It's another one that surprised me. Um, I think about other people, honestly. Um, but I'm not very careful, nor am I really diligent about things. I leave stuff everywhere. I'm very unorganized which is very misleading from my background <laughs> in back there. Very misleading. I'm a very unorganized person. If I pick something up, I'm very lucky to even remember where I put it back down. Um, and then the last one is intellect slash imagination. I'm 52% in that one, um, which, I mean, I can agree with. I think that's pretty fair. Um, I do have a big imagination, and I do feel like I'm f decently intelligent, but I don't really think that I'm super high in those categories. And then the two leadership theories that I think I mostly align to, um, since I don't really have leadership roles in my building, I had to kind of think of how I lead uh, my classroom. And the main one I think is, the, the first one that I thought of was the contingency theory, which is talking about how leaders must adapt their style to the situation. And I feel that that one is fairly accurate as a teacher. You kind of have to. Um, contingency and situational are very kind of close. Um, and I feel like as a teacher, you kind of have to do that. You have to adapt to each child and as a whole group, depending on who you're dealing with, your teaching styles. Um, and then the other one I thought was leader member exchange. Um, I felt very, very comfortable with that one because I don't think it's necessarily fair to treat everybody equally um, due to work ethic, um, being able to trust someone, all of those things. It's, it's not fair to treat someone who you know is not going to do the work the same as someone who shows up on time every day and always does the work to 100%. Um, so I feel that that one applies with my teaching because my kids that I know I can trust are those kids that I'll let them work out in the hallway by themselves. I'll let them do projects where I will only check in on them. While those I know, if I leave them alone for even five seconds, they're going to be turned around and doing whatever they want. They'll be crawling up the walls for all I know. Um, 
other than that, I'm kind of interested in seeing where this class goes and how I can maybe adapt my leadership style or change and maybe even grow as a leader and eventually take that kind of position in my school building. I would feel that that would be pretty cool.